What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're here with Ari, Astarian, Lazale, and Gale, and we are at the Gnarled Tea House, Auntie Ethel's Playground. <laughs> she fled within the fireplace here. We need to do that. But before we go ahead and do that, I don't think we actually loot it up here. And then there's that fireplace out there. We need to go, or fireplace. The evil eye, we read that. Fireplace. I'm thinking about the fireplace, and there's a well out there. Is that it? Oh. I guess there's nothing up there anyway. But there's a well. Wait. There we go. There is a well out here, and it might be another way in to where Auntie Ethel is, because the last time we went down a well, it was in the Blighted Village, and it took us into that spider cave. So let's click on this well and see what the hell's going on. It could be another way in. Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. Drink. Drink from the well? A great deal of dead flesh lies below. No. Let's not drink from the well. <laughs> Is this gentleman still up here? Oh, Gandril's still here. All right, well, let's head out. I got Lazale in the party now. I changed it up a little bit. I want to get some flavor because I'm thinking about respecting Karlak. I want to keep Karlak a barbarian because I don't want to break the lore and the RP of her class. I guess what we can do with Karlak is we can respect her into something else for now. I don't know what we're going to do with Karlak because my first instinct is to make her a fighter like Lazale and then kind of just don't really bring Lazale and because I don't want to couple the same classes. I know it's kind of different between Ari and Karlak because she has, she's just a different barbarian, but I still want to change it up a little bit. I kind of want her range. Parts of me wants to make her a fighter, but then another parts of me wants to make her a ranger. A ranger and a barbarian? I don't know. She's going to keep the barbarian. She's going to keep her rage. But I'm going to make her a very minimalistic barbarian, I think. As in, like, maybe three levels in barb and then pretty heavy in the other. I still want her to rage out, but I kind of want her range. And I know that we can go with maybe, like, a throwing build on the barbarians, but we haven't seen anything about throwing stuff. So if we can... Do some kind of because throwing stuff is going to be good for Ari. Ari just like look at all this strength. It's for melee weapons, muscles, and physical prowess. Yeah, we got so much strength. I mean, we're pretty decent in Dex and Con. But if you think about it, range weapons uses dexterity. I'd imagine, right? I'm not really 100% sure, but I feel like all ranged weapons, just in any game that we play, it's always like dex or cunning or something like that. But strength-wise, we have to figure out, like, throwing stuff. If it legitimately is a thing. Anyways, we'll think about something with Carlyle. We're going to keep her a barb, but I don't know if I want to power around using the same classes. It probably doesn't gimp us that much, but it kind of probably does because you think about it if we have the same thing and we encounter something that is kind of like harsh for like a barbarian we're at a double loss there you know so a fighter would be good and i don't want to limit myself and not bringing lazale and carlac together because they're probably great together so i don't want to do that so we'll think about things maybe like a ranger who knows maybe even a druid i don't know we got to think of something for carlac because my first instinct of Ari, and if all else fails with Ari here, the first thing I was going to pick for us was a Barbarian mixed with a Paladin. That was the first class I was talking about, in, I think, in Episode 1. I was talking about how I did D&D back in the day, and I was a mixture between, like, a Berserker, I think it was, and a Paladin. So that was my first instinct of kind of, like, creating the character that we created way back in the 90s. And... Well, I got taken over by the bard. I mean, look, I got loot on me still. <laughs> All right, let's go down here and see what kind of trouble we can start. Anthe Ethel, your ass is ours. Where the hell are you? Wait. Bone cap? 
Lights out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can we take that? Use, examine. Okay. There was a gentleman down here speaking. Maybe we should go talk to him. This should be interesting, though, friends. Auntie Ethel, she has fled. Let me read the journal, though. We can't do anything with Auntie Ethel here. Things turned out violent with Auntie Ethel. She isn't happy with us. Save Marina. The fireplace reveal a hidden passage under Auntie Ethel's home, leading to a dark, twisted lair. <laughs> Are you fucking ready for this shit? I guess we don't have a choice. Let's get going. It's saving, so you know shit. You are here. as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Or what? I think I'll stay a little while. Forgive me! I'll leave right away! <laughs> Tell me where Marina is now, Ethel. Has that Wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Oh, you'll end up in tonight's stew. We'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. <laughs> She's gonna eat. Whoa, where'd she go? Where the fuck did she go? She's gonna eat, Marina. Holy shit. Is this a headless person? My a veritable cabinet of creepy curiosities. Don't look. Don't. Whispering mask. Whispering mask. Stop. There's some whispering Please. masks. Please. Ouch. What the hell are we looking at here? Wait. Wait. Earthen bottle. Sure, why not? What the hell is this skull? What's that? It's a skull, Ari. Touch it. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. Standing mirror. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Somebody in the mirror? What the hell? This person is still alive. It says 10 of 10, but your head is gone and it, you're holding your own head. We can loot this person. My darling Macron, she wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. Is this a? She wished for the mind of a genius, and the silly head crossed me. So this is Magrin, and she took her head off. That's probably her head right here, or no? Who knows? But this person might be a genius, and she wished for the mind of a genius, and she put it in stasis. What the hell is going on? What are we in? Here. Ethel's got some shit. I was thinking Ethel, we were... Why did hell? Gold ring, money. Well, I guess she's not really gonna use it. What is this? Watered, watery eye? This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. So these packs, these blood rites that Kendrill was talking about out there, that wish he can afford the blood rite of the, the witch here, or what the hell are we gonna call her? Don't. Crone? Let's just call her a crone. She's something. Don't. She's taking it and twisting it crazy, like to the to the core, man. Stop. My dearest Efren, please beg me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. So she halted his life, basically. 
He's got a disease still, but she halted it to where nothing can happen to him. What the hell, Ethel? Stop. Please. This shit is crazy. What can we do here? What are these fucking masks? Are they over here? Yeah, they're over here, but they're showing up over there. Okay, I see what it was doing here. Don't look. What are you doing? Don't. Hold on. Stop. Let's click. Oh, yeah. What now? What's Gail in? Feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. Gail's in a Gail's in the conversation with how'd you how'd you get in a conversation with this door, Gail? What happened last time you opened? Come on, open up. No time to chat. I'm here to kill the hag. <laughs> what happened last time you opened up? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him. Dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb, she cackles. The man's remaining flesh, twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. Flee, you feel it cry? I'm not afraid of that hag. I have to get through it now. Well... Gail's armor looks absolutely awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> if we can make this armor like like a solid, just black, it would be so cool looking. I'm not afraid of this damn hag. The scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Nobody. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. We gotta kill her. <laughs> She's fucking crazy. We gotta kill her. I mean it. Let me through. Alright, well, is there another way in? The hag will be the least of your problems if you don't open up. Let's ask about maybe another way in, then. You see an image of blue skies and sunshine. As the door shudders a warning. Run. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. Intimidate, open up, or I'll burn you to ashes. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. I can see through you. I can just walk right in. Can we just walk right in? Persuade. Let's persuade it then. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. In theory, that's what we're hoping, right? So, now that we got that dialogue there, maybe the other people that are cursed, it's all, maybe it's all a fucking illusion. Or not just an illusion, maybe if we kill the hag, then everything is all fine and dandy. What the hell is this? Scuffed metal? Oh, friends, we can change our dice! Cool! <laughs> Making me lose my train of thought, but we can change our dice! Dragon Flame Red, but here blue? That blue looks pretty slick. Which one do we like the best? I don't know. I like purple. So it's like purple and black. Kind of used to it now. Let's just stick with that. Maybe we'll... <laughs> I don't know. We can change it up every now and again, I guess. Let's go with that one. Old Faithful. Whoa! Gail, you're gonna have to use some inspiration, pal. <laughs> we got a critical failure. <laughs> This is not going well, my friend. Are we going to use more inspiration here? With Gale? I don't think we have a choice. There we go. Holy hell. 
<laughs> this is not good. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. So, oh. Don't look. Yeah, we probably didn't Don't. even need to use all that inspiration, huh? Fucking hell. Stop. Whispering. Please. Please. What the hell are these things? We got Don't some whispering masks, look. friends. Don't. What the hell do they do? Whispering masks, pack Don't. of the flock. Let's see what that is. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Soft, unintelligible whispers seep from the dark wood. Ringing in your ears and resounding in your skull. I don't think this is a good idea if we put this on. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Is this going to curse us? Don't we have stuff to block curses? Protect an ally against attacks and powers of aberration, celestials, elemental, fey, fiends, and undead. Wouldn't this protect us from a curse, though? A scroll of protection if this was... A curse? If we put this on? I don't know. What would Auntie Ethel be considered? Fae? Celestial? She's not a celestial. Fae? Fiends? A fiend? Target can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. And when these creatures attack it, they have a disadvantage. Until long rest. Don't look. Don't. What if we put a uh, protection against good and evil on us? And Stop. put that mask on. Please. Please. My gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Away. Away. Don't look. A thief who Don't. tried to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my own. Stop. Please. Please. Let's talk to this man. No. No. Don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. Seldarin, I'm not your enemy, Wood Elf. What ails you? Should we do the Seldarin? Smile as he twitches and whimpers? No. Mustn't look at what exactly? Are y'all right? Let's Seldarin it up. I see it. I see what's to come. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. I just see your reflection. Hey, look at me. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of here. I just see your reflection. No. Future. Bone splitting. Knife twisting. Skull screaming. Future. Gods. Don't hurt me. Oh, please. Please. Please, please, please. Be calm. I am not sworn of law. You need not fear me. Every time you open your mouth, it gets a little more tempting. You're safe with me, I swear. What? Why would I hurt you? Maybe we should keep going Sodoran. It, fe it feels unique to the situation, then. Not drow! Never drow! Monster! Monster! For mind dripping! Flesh peeling! Mind flare! Take a deep breath and roar. We're gonna try to, like, motivate this guy? Tell him to take a deep breath and roar? Get strong? Forget about it? Look at me, I'm not a mind flare. We can say we're not a mind flare, but I want to have him take a deep breath and roar. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we roared. <laughs> mind flare. <laughs> no intention of letting that happen. 
We just scared the shit right out of this guy. <laughs> I thought we were gonna motivate him by the way the dialogue said there. Hey friend! Stop! Stop! Make it stop! Okay, I think the only way we can do this is kill stop. Ethel. Please. So this door, Please. if Ethel just walked through there, and maybe we put this mask on. Oh, are we gonna try to put this fucking what? mask on? Yeah, but like. Don't I don't think look. it's going to be a good idea. Don't. I just don't think we should use these masks. I don't feel it. I don't think we should. I want to see what happens. But I don't think we should. You know what I've been thinking though? I think we should use this too on Ari. I think we should go back to the great axe stuff. We're gonna lose some AC. We're gonna use some. We're gonna lose some armor class. We are. But I think I want to do the most damage possible. I'm kind of scared. I've really been on the edge about this flail lately. Because if we just miss, we just might go mad. You know? Like I want to use it. It's good in theory. But I'm not. I'm kind of not ready to see the consequences if we fail. I feel a bit more secure on a big weapon. Does that make sense? And not to mention, I think I want to change Ari. Or not just change him. I think eventually, our, our second feat, I want to give him the great weapon master, what Lazale has. But there was also another one that I seen that I was thinking about giving him as well. It was like an opportunity attack one, I think. I don't know the name of it, but it was something. Stop. Let's do that. Let's go back Please. to this. Please. I'm still a little shook. I just am. Let's just try to walk through this son of a bitch. What's the worst that can happen? Don't. Ethel walked through no. it. We've seen it in the cutscene. So maybe we can. But I can't even... I don't even think I can do it. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. We've already talked to this damn thing. Images flash. A man cowering his crushing. Well, we've already did this. You feel I'm not cry. a Let's just leave. We've already did it. Stop. Just casually walk through, friends. <laughs> that works for me! <laughs> We did it. Now we didn't have to use the mask. Oh, hold on. Shit, shit. There's someone up here. Excuse me. Examine. Part of the flock. They got the mask going as well, so they're anti ethos That is not good. Yeah, but isn't there a way to knock people out? Do we have to kill these people? Because they're probably mind-washed. Passives. Toggle non-lethal attacks. There we go. Knock someone unconscious instead of killing them. Must be unarmed or using a melee weapon. Well, that works for me. Though, yeah, it works for me. Let's see if we can sneak up on this one then. Knock it the fuck out. Oh, maybe not. Hello! Good hit! Critical miss on... That was a critical miss. How did it hurt us if it was a critical miss? Make any sense. Turn someone inside out. Okay, let's turn someone inside out then. That was up. <laughs> Shit, she's almost done for, friends. Let's bite her with a Starion. She's got one health. Offhand. We knocked her out! Hey! <laughs> cool! That fucking works! <laughs> okay. That works for me. <laughs> Let's get a story in over here, this close way. to this one. 
Man, I feel accomplished. I feel like we just did something good for the greater good. We knocked him out. That we probably don't need to knock him out, but hey, yeah, it's something. Motherfuckers done almost killed Shovel. So if magic don't work on Gale, we should just use cantrips then. Let's just use our cantrips. I'm not willing to use spell slots on these people if we're going to knock them out. And plus, I don't want to use spell slots anyway because we haven't even got to Ethel yet. <laughs> Still breathing. So. Everything. Hey Ari, I'm not using rage right Locked now either. We're just going to keep surrounding people Time like we did. Strike. Maybe jump with Lizelle, and then knock her the hell out. Come on, one big hit, Lizelle. One hit for 21. I think you have it in you. I really do. You totally do not have it in you. Yes, I'll break your pretty little bones. Fuck was that? Don't make me hurt them. So they got to go through a check. Damn, Gail. All right, Astarium. Sneak attack this one. 18, that works. Go ahead and just keep hitting her. Damn it, she's got one health. He can do it again. 90% and he critical missed. What the fuck? How? How does that even happen? <laughs> that is just absurd. I guess we could work on this one with Shovel. I don't think Shovel can knock him out. I don't fancy the chances. Hey, Gail. You're going to have to hit this one. No, not topple. Short rest. Do a main hand attack. Can you just knock him out? <laughs> knocked out temporarily. <laughs> Gail used the fucking staff and knocked her out. <laughs> That's so amazing. I love it. Comes easy these Everyone days. is just completely, well, try me. Stacked up. Ari's pissed. <laughs> Good hit, Ari. I'm feeling. I don't know. I feel like a two-handed sword is just better. Two-handed weapon than the the shield and it's a nice heal. But do we really need it? We don't. I mean, we got the bear. I found myself not using this ability because, well. I will ascend. We just didn't need to. Okay, we'll jump with Lazale. Then we'll go possibly hit her this time. 40%. Lazale's on a game of miss today. Maybe we should have kept Karlak in. No, you fucking killed Shovel. Man, our whole team is almost wiped. We got a ranged person that just... Freaking havoc on us back there. He's going down, going up, hitting us, going down, going. What, what is he doing? Gail's frightened. This curse that she keeps doing on us is rough. 12. The bows aren't going to cut it, though. That's the thing. Well, cutting dash to her? Man, this thief is so fucking good. And we'll offhand her. One. Hey, sorry, that's, that's nothing. Doom. The only thing we can do with Gale is possibly work on this one here. Let's hit him with a fireball. Totally missed. Wait, Gale. Take a potion, my friend. Choice but to keep going. Ari, take her out. One hit, that's all you need, sir. Fucking <laughs> this. Damn it, friends. Time to strike. Really rough to miss. Please? <laughs> Lizelle said I ain't missing. Don't worry. <laughs> Good job, Lizelle. Thank you. That really, really, really fucking helped. Now we just gotta work on this archer back here. We knocked three out. That's good. I feel like we're doing really, really good. Position. Get on, Lizelle. Battle master you. Wait, are we we have this on? As a bonus action, make a melee attack with your equipped weapon. Great we Oh, this is great weapon master. We didn't even use it yet. Damn it. I wish he would. 
not pass the check. You know what I mean? Frightened Ori. I'm just gonna frighten Ori and get away with it, pal. Astorian with the bow. No. We can cut and dash over to him. Over here. Let's cutting dash over to him and just fuck him up. Astorian's beast mode. I'm thinking I'm really getting the hang of um the friends. Well, no one's next to him for the advantage, unfortunately. But what we can do is just main hand him. Just for some damage. I mean, anything works. You know. He'll probably turn around and whoop our ass. Let's throw some fire at him. Yes. Really missed. Okay, that's fine. Indeed. Get a little bit closer. We'll just keep everyone really, really close to him. And then we'll get over here with Ori. Let's dash. Dash a bonus? No. Fucking Ari can't do it. Anything. Can't fucking move at all. Time to strike. He's immobilized. That's fine. So how do I get the great weapon master? It's toggled already. Okay, she's just been using it already then. That's fine. 35% chance. What the fuck? <laughs> Lozelle said, do not talk shit about my misses. We can get Shovel back out again. I'm gonna wait. Okay, what we can do. That was pretty tough. I'm happy that we knocked these people out, but maybe we should get going. We should even we probably shouldn't even loot these people. What do they even have on them? I mean, we can take their weapons. Their armor. These boots have seen everything. I mean, what use do we have for the mask? Faded note? Was a slime bomb? What use are we gonna have for the mask? Because I'm about to discard the mask, honestly. Let's read this. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend. She is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. Lies? Friends, what if we take the mask off of them now? Will they just wake up? I'm not fucking touching it. I want nothing to do with it. We can just steal their other shit, but I don't want nothing to do with the mask. And I think I'm just going to discard the masks here as well. We can sell it. Let's discard our masks. Let's drop the item. It's got me worried that it's in our inventory now. Drop the item. There's masks everywhere. Let's go and loot. Look at chest. There we go. Own cat back here. We got them knocked out, but how long do they stay knocked out for? It makes me wonder. That was rough. That was really rough. We should take the masks off of them, shouldn't we? I don't know. I don't know, though. The mask has me shook. We got mind reading and then potion of healing. That works the way to go I guess it is the way to go yeah it's saving whoa man we ain't getting through that perception do we just let's heal okay let's heal people row where's the row greater healing Fuck it, didn't even get anybody. I got like. Okay, it's because she's on this little hill here, really? Hell, we're probably better off just taking fucking potions. No! No time to rest. If we can make this happen somehow. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Get in here, Gail. 
Yeah, beast you. Is that blood? With Ari? No, never mind. And then we'll just throw more of the graders. <sighs> nice, that was a big heal. Let's do it again. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's good! We got full health, friends, and we're good to go. What is this? Perception. We can disarm this. There was something else to disarm, though, was there not? What if we... What if we blow it up? Can we blow it up? Like, will the fumes go away if we blow it up with Gale? Mm. I applaud your taste. All right, Gale. Yeah. What's this? Eat this? It's a vent. It's a venting stuff out of it. So that's not gonna work. Fire. It just keeps on venting. We can't get in there and just disarm that. What if we block the vent, though? I have something to block the vent. Large bottle. Bro. Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, that didn't work either. But it's a large bottle. The fuck's a large bottle gonna do? Come Wait, doesn't already now. have stuff to throw? Like. This crate here. We can throw this crate. Is it gonna block the vent though? Nope. <laughs> it did not block the vent. That is not good, friends. So, okay, well, the crate. If we can't block the vent, then. Skull. And place this here. It blocked it. Maybe it's because we threw it and broke it. That didn't that didn't work. Okay, I get it now. That makes sense. We'll get on a Starion and then disarm this. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. You got all this. Easy easy, Astorian. Let's disarm all this with a Starion. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. <laughs> it's gonna roll in the 20s every time. To be fair, I'm gonna get a story out the crew. He's the only one. He's probably gonna be able to see all this shit. He's gonna roll 20s every single time. He has so many points. Oh dear. Someone. Can you get in this? Perception failed. What we gotta do is. No rest for the wicked, I see. Immediately. Perception's failing on everyone. What's Ari doing up here? Are you gonna come down here, sir? Or what are you doing? Well, in it. Yeah, but what happens if before me. we just throw something? Perception is successful. Failed. Okay, well, if we just throw something in there again. It has to block the vent, but where's the fucking vent to block it? Spider egg? Meat cleaver? It's over there. Okay, we got a bunch of bottles and shit on us. It's because we threw it, friends. That's exactly why we couldn't get it the first time. Careful. I'm this makes sense. This is really self-explanatory now. Let's just hope we can get the fuck through it. 25 for a story in. Let's go ahead and pick this bottle up then. I don't think we need to worry about that one. But if we go down. What to do? Okay. We got this. <clears throat> just thro throw bottles on shit. <clears throat> Is how are we gonna get that bottle now? There's no reason to go back up. Mm. If we go down here, we're gonna go down with a Starion. We might have to disarm this. 
perception failed. I don't even think we need to worry about it then. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. All right, just don't step on anything because they're traps. They stepped on it anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like it's will be done. We really had to fucking put them down one by one. Oh, action, not reaction. No, I don't really need anyone low on health right now. So what I'll do is I guess I'll throw potion to Lazale. <sighs> Take it. And oh, Gail was hurt too. We definitely don't need Gail hurt. Didn't Never wasted a moment. All right, what now? Okay, let's go. Can we jump over this, possibly? It's gonna knock us fucking prone, though. Oh, it's because we're all the way over here. That's not gonna knock us prone. Go ahead, Gale. Ah, excellent choice. Excellent choice. That's me, Gale. <coughs> Looking ahead. Okay, I think we're good. We got through this uh, maze. We didn't really tab in there. I'm gonna get shovel back out. Hey, shovel! You don't have the aid, sadly, though. Hey, you have something. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's Marina. Kick her bloody head in. Kick her bloody head in. What should we do about this? What is over Come here? On! Bash her brains out! Control orb? Best be on my way. Bash her there, brains out, she's cage. saying. There, in the cage. Okay, let's survey the area, because, well... What is Dying this control orb? Let's see what this control orb does. Look, there's high ground here, Kick friends. Her bloody head in. Kick her bloody head in, she says. Should we get that high ground? I'm gonna get a Starian out. And I'm gonna work on getting this orb. What is this damn thing though? Bash her brains out. Control orb. Can you jump to it, Astorian? Or Look, friends. It's releasing her. Can we jump over to her and talk to her? Hello! <laughs> A story in here. <laughs> hey, Marina. The dance of death. Well, Wait. so much for peace. What happened? Wait. Wait, what, what, all, what, what the fuck is going on? Hey, Astorian, you're getting fucking wrecked, sir. Anti-Ethel? There's so many of them. Um. Holy fucking hell, there's so many anti-Ethels, friends. How do we even know which one is which? Whose turn is it? Lazale's turn? I guess we can- this one's 25? Should we jump Lazale over to this side? Can we even do that? Let's jump her. Let's jump her over here to this one and whoop this one's ass. Bonus action? Do a bonus action. 25%. Well, pretty much a waste of a bonus action. Let's go hit this one. <laughs> Wait. They're just one shot, so they're just illusions. Alright, well, we need to find the real anti Ethel then, because they're just fucking illusions. Shovel had the high ground, but. There is turn. We need Gale. Because if they're just one shot, we can just magic missile like three of them, right? Creator, 
destroyed. There we go. We got Gale. One. Damn it, Gale. That one's too far. Okay, if that one's too far, then we go over just a little bit. One. Two. But well, which, which one is Ethel? Okay, I guess none of them were Ethel. Hey, Marina, how are you? Wait, this one has more here. Hold on here. Examine. This one's green. And it has only three. This is Ethel. This is fucking Ethel. How the hell are we gonna get to Ethel? We're gonna run really, really far. And really fast. We should have took potion of speed, damn it. Where do I go from here? Well, Ari, my friend. We can jump. Try to get over to Ethel. Can you take this one out, Ari? 45%, sir. Damn it, it was worth a shot, I guess. Can't win them all. You missed your ray of sickness. Yes, come closer, please. I would love that. Sneak attack with a Starion. Can't do that with a Starion. What we can do is cunning dash. You cunning dash this all the way nice. up here. You sure the fuck can. Gale, you're on your own down there, bud. For now. And then a 36%. We have nothing. Let's just try a ranged attack. Yes, a Starian, great hit. Now we got him out. It's just Ethel. And then Marina. Well, we, <laughs> we lowered Marina's thing. That is so good. Okay. Hey, Marina. She's got 10 health. Damsel. Damsel in distress. Wait, this is a Starion. Let's get a little bit closer with a Starion. There's a fucking trap here, friends. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. The subtle approach. Let's cunning hide. Oh no. Which one are we gonna hit with a Starion? Didn't we just see Marina have 10 health? This one has 8. I'm just going to offhand attack it. No, I guess we're not. I guess we're not. Piercing. Let's offhand attack this. Bloody clever clubs. Thank the gods. Oh, that works. Okay, Marina's got 10 health. Stay over there. Stay over there, man. Don't come over here. It's getting spicy over here. We can throw an arrow. Arrow of solving. You're a target of poison or paralysis. Ooh, that's good. Arrow of Roaring Thunder. Explode on impact. It's gonna kill him, though. Is it not? Damn it. We can't do that. Arrow of Darkness. Spread magical darkness on impact. What's darkness gonna do, though? Blinder? So let's move out of it. She's blinded though. That's good, I think. But Astarian is blinded I'm too. Fury. I am death. Which is fine. It's, it's no big deal. Let's get a rally on Ari. And then on we'll the dash move. with Azale. What's this? Jump. Jump down across. Your strength affects how far. Oh, we can still do it. Lazale can't do nothing else, though, right now. Shabo! Get over here. You little beast, you. The last board is set. And then we have Gale. We can throw daggers up in there on her, but I don't want to because I have a feeling that she might end up rolling out. Teleporting again. Right out of there. So what we can do... Is... 
with ease. Let's jump with Gale. Get a little bit closer. I'm saving magic missiles. Oh, Gale. You didn't jump. You can dash up here, though. Distance. Get by Ori. We're just gonna fucking surround her ass. Let's just surround her ass and whoop it. Potion of speed. Oh, he can go again! But if we use daggers, though... Target is out of sight. Oh, he, she's out of sight now. No. We can't do anything. Gale is screwed. <laughs> Friends. Damn it. Can we put her to sleep? Target is too high health. I get it. I don't want to use the missiles. I want to save them. Ray of Enfeeblement. Path is interrupted. Let's just get a little bit closer with Gale. Maybe we can get up here. Maybe you get some kind of advantage here. We can hit her. We can't use daggers, which is fine. Poison. Can't use poison. Can't use sleep. Fireball. Gale can't do nothing. It's blocked. Only melee can go in there and hit her. Maybe. Or... Another day, another fight. Oh, we should have raged, but fine. Oh. Oh. You like that, Ethel? We'll rage now. What is Ethel at? Let me see what else she might have on her. Opportunity attack. She has Fey Life. Makes it easier for the wearer to succeed in death saving throws. Dark Vision. She has Alert. You gain a plus five bonus to intimidation and can't be surprised. So we can't surprise her no matter what. Okay. What else do you have though? She's 250 pounds. What a big beast. Big old beast. Irina, don't run into that thing. Wait, we should be able to do Sentinel. Why? That was not right. We should have been able to do Sentinel, but we were blinded. We're blinded by the light. We're no longer blinded. Cunning action hide. We have an advantage on her. Whoop her ass. Brass. Why can't you whoop her ass, sir? Why? Why did he stop? Why? Why didn't he hit her? It's so weird. Swift and lethal. Makes no sense. Let's get... Hell. This is scary, to be honest. Because what if she just... Knocks us off now, because we're in this area here? I don't like this area. Death is but a word away. Hey, Gale. You can daggers her now, probably. Well, let's not. Can we get her to go to sleep? No. Enfeeblement. Let me see. Weaken a foe. They deal half damage with weapons. Attacks you. Oh, they. She doesn't use strength, probably. And maybe she does. Can we look at her abilities? She definitely does use strength. So let's enfeeble her ass. On it. Miguel. Mister, you, sir, are a badass, I tell ya. Fireball. With glee. Totally missed again, Gail. Another fight. Don't you Let's worry. go. You'll hit her one of these years. Let's jump with Ori. Goodbye, Ori. Let's use it to our advantage. And we did not. Okay, that's 11 damage. We're whooping Ethel up here, kinda, in a way, in a sense. In a way, kinda. She is completely... Laws and Astorian. Sentinel, that is. Stuck in your teeth, slave. This opportunity attack. That was so much hits we could have just did, and everyone fucking missed. That hurts my backside, friends. Sure the fuck does. Well. So we can just work on Ethel and range. 
Because I don't really want to get too close over there with the Starion. Pretty cool miss. Hey, Lazale, get in there and whoop her ass. Who has Rally? We can Rally a Starion. And then just get in here and whoop her. Just don't have any percentage to hit her here. No one has any good percentage to hit Ethel. Hey, Shovel, can you go in there and whoop her ass? <laughs> Shovel's, Shovel's gonna be in the way. Can you f scare her? Wanna eat your babies? <laughs> Wanna eat your babies? <laughs> Friends, we can throw daggers down. Maybe. I don't know if other people are gonna get stuck in the daggers, though. They might. Damn, Gale, you are doing some work! I love this. This is kind of working out, friends. Let me look at her one more time. Okay. She has 80 health. That's it. That's all she has. Good. Though we gotta be really careful with these daggers, though. Because I have a feeling... Time to push my luck again. That will probably be stuck in these fucking daggers. I don't want to heal. We can push her off the side, maybe. You can't really miss. That's the thing, is that you, like, can't... Can't miss these attacks, but they're 50. Like, fighting her almost feels like that person we fought in the beginning of the game. No. She's right here. There she is, then. She's right in this area. She in stealth. Okay, we need to work on hitting these. Good job, Astorian. Please hit this one. 49, 49. 60. Oh, my friend, you can't miss. It's not good if you miss. Victory awaits. Well, 35% chance to hit with Lazale. Yes, that was very good. We can try to pummel strike this one. Let's try to pummel strike just to hit it. Damn it. All right, it's Shovel's turn, but Shovel. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Ori's turn now. Twenty percent chance to hit that one. Forty-five. Well, we hit it. And then we should jump up here because that's where Ethel was, right? That's where the voices were. Yeah, but how are we gonna know? Gale's lethargic. He lost his turn. You just gonna sit there and laugh? That works for me. You just sit there and laugh, and I'll go and kill your clones. No. Cunning dash. Moving. And then, let's hit this one. <laughs> there we go, Astarian. But he can't do anything else for now. We'll get a little bit closer. I am fury. I am death. What are we gonna do? Let's throw the hand out. Maybe the hand can reveal it? Why not? And we'll jump over here. We're gonna have to get daggers off. Where's Marina? She's still good. Yeah, Marina's still good. How am I gonna get Ethel out here? She. Alright. One card all Shovel's invisible. That will definitely hit the magic missile. Problem is, Gale's a bit too far. We can jump. Yeah. See, but I do we really want to use magic missiles? It's gonna use a spell slot. Maybe we should use Fireball instead. Yes. 
There she is! <laughs> you gave yourself away, just keep laughing, you silly goose. Alright, now it's time to fuck her ass up. 50%? There we go, Ari. Yes! That was a nice hit, man. Really, really good hit. I'm gonna potion to speed this shit, and I'm gonna whoop your ass again. Oh, yes! <laughs> I feel your impending doom, Ethel. Marina, don't just... Don't go and do anything crazy. No, you didn't! <laughs> Opportunity attack! Whoop her ass with your staff, Gail! You touch Gail like that. Well, she'll know what to do. <laughs> Ciao, <-cha. laughs> Yes, a starion. That was so good. I'm gonna take a potion, and I'm gonna get a little bit closer with a starion. Let's cunning action hide. Damn it, we're okay. We were in her light. Line of sight, that's fine. I will ascend. Lazale, she has 20% health. I'm scared for Gale, but. Let's buff Gale. He's rallied. She only has a 25% chance. This is an action. Let's go hit her. See what happens. Totally missed on Anti Ethel. Yes, this is going good. This is going very good. Hey, Gail. You gonna whoop her ass? You wanna magic missile her ass three in a row? Yes. Friends, we're getting good. Look, let's slap her. Critical hit. <laughs> Can't even catch my breath. Hey, Ari. Should we... Can't pummel her. Let me see. Well, I guess it really don't matter. I keep looking at her, thinking that I just, I just, I'm getting nervous. All right, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We still got unarmed attack on, do we not? Passives. Let's take that unarmed attack off. And hit her. <laughs> Whoops her ass. How could I have trusted her? I almost gave that monster my child. Gail? Wait, why is Gail in this conversation here? Why? Gail? What are you doing? Less crying, more gold, please. Why in the hell would you even consider That's that? That's what she wanted. My baby. And God, I was going to do it. For him. My husband. She was going to bring him back. Bring on her back to life. She was going to bring Connor back to life? Your husband must... That meant a great deal to you. What would have happened to your child? You'd have sacrificed a new life for a lost life? So she was going to get rid of her child? For her husband? Wait, what? You'd sacrifice a new life? Or a lost life? Your husband must have been that great deal. Well, yeah. What would have happened to your child? Ethel promised to raise the child. Teach them magic. Give them a good life. It's a damn sight better than I can do. I just wanted everything back. Back the way it was. Ethel saw you were vulnerable. She took advantage. That doesn't excuse the deal you made. That's a crazy deal. You're going to give up your unborn child? For your husband? What would you do? I don't know what I would do. I don't know if I would do that. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Ethel saw you were vulnerable. She took advantage. I shouldn't have helped you. Well, she saw that you were vulnerable. She took advantage. But I don't think she was going to do great things for your child. What if Ethel needs children? What if she needs children to sustain her life? 
Does that make sense? Well, it doesn't matter now because she's a smear on the fucking ground. But Ethel saw you were vulnerable. She took advantage. It's my own fault for letting her. Look. I don't like owing people. Here. This socket is worth some coin. Not much indeed. It got anything else? <laughs> Keep it. You don't owe me anything. Better than nothing, I suppose. Let's... She's trying to give us some coin. Keep it. We don't need it. Maybe you can get yourself on your feet. Your brothers died. You were going to sacrifice your unborn and you're pregnant. I'd imagine still, so keep it. Really? Sorry. That's... My husband gave it to me. I should take him home. His coffin is just upstairs. A decent burial is the least I can give him. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else who would have saved me. You can count on Gale. Friends, we done whooped up Auntie Ethel. That was a pretty tough fight. But you got anything else, Marina? I have a lot on my mind. Astarian um, didn't like that we well, took the coin. But we didn't take the coin. Look, Astarian, sometimes you just gotta be nice. You know? And it's nothing wrong with it. Where is she going? To her husband? Let's loot Ethel. Tarnished charm. You got a sword? What is this tarnished charm? Fae life makes it easier for the wearer to succeed death saving throws. Oh. Auntie Ethel's dead friends. We done whooped their ass. That was a pretty tough fight, man. So if we go back, can we just walk through this shit? Does it go? Because I want to go check on them people in there. Wonder if the I'm glad that we didn't just me. knock her ass out, by the way. <laughs> Took it off in the end and we didn't knock her out. Well... I won't lie, I was figuring maybe a cutscene with Ethel there in the beginning. I think we fucked... I seriously do think we might have bugged it out by sneaking around and doing what we did. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but that shit was crazy. Listen. Oh, it's a... It's something. Okay. Well, we got a bunch of journal updates here. We sure the fuck do. Save Marina. We saved Marina, but she was in a bad way. She left to say goodbye to her husband at his grave. Perhaps we can help her. Wait, is her husband the one up top that has the vines around it, the purple? That would make sense. Auntie Ethel is finally dead. We should see if Marina is all right. We found Auntie Ethel in the heart of her lair. She's furious with us. We're in for a fight. Sure the hell we're in for a fight. Holy hell, man. That was a tough one. Gail. Your magic missiles really carried, but I still think Astorian with them hits, he just did so good. He just did so good with his hits. And Andy Ethel just literally gave herself away here at the end. She literally was just laughing like a big goof up here. Which is fine. Totally fine. But still. Well, what happens now? What the hell is all this shit? Let's go in here and see what we got going on here. We have all types of stuff. The ever seeing eye. Bitter divorce. Let's just loot all this stuff. Pig's head. Pig's head. Potion of speed. That potion of speed is awesome. The ever seeing eye. Letter to Ethel, letter to Ethel. Bitter divorce? It's a white item, but what has a name? Save Marina. Wait, what? What happened here? Save Marina? We found a wand with Connor's name on it. Could this resurrect Marina's husband? We're gonna go resurrect her husband? <laughs> Friends, look at all these fucking rings! Lost in time, insanity's kiss. Oh, this is all... Let's pick up all the shit. Insanity's kiss. Wilted dreams. Missing pets. A mother's loathing. Lover's avarice. Staff of crones. Get over there, 
Yeah. Ready and willing. Good, for you. Good find. What is this? Mushroom circle? Good find. We got a mushroom circle here. What the hell is that? Potion of speed, healing, and a glorious vaulting. Let's get that with Ori. Well, just the potion of speeds are really, really great. I was thinking about calling in the ogres there. I really was. We gonna go resurrect this lady's husband? This letter is written in elegant cursive, Ethel. I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along the... Shinatar, and have ensured he will pass through your territory and do as you wish to him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contract has assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route M. This M person, you know what this M person was? The letter that we see with the M person, I went back. It was on that drow. The dissected drow. So this M person, I feel like, is a leader of something to do with either drows or the goblins. Blotches of ink are splattered on this unfinished letter written in an uneven scroll. Sister Dearest, are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not. My red cap snapped the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind. You know me so well. I have the most darling mass for her. You must come visit. So this person... will die. We're not knowing if it's a guy or a girl. But this person with the name M is something to Ethel. They must be friends or something. What the fuck is this? Mushroom circle. Future bog? Oh, we're on the future bog. We went back. Oh, over here. We're, oh, we're over here by Marina. That will get us right down into the mushroom then. Well, maybe we should talk to Marina about her husband. Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. Are you alright? You could just leave him here. Whining won't get you there any faster. Stand with her in silence. Are you alright? Not even a little bit. But I will be. You could just leave him. I mean, we could tell him just to leave him. Tell her just to leave him. No! He deserves a proper burial. He deserves some rest. And he won't get that here. Wanting? Leave her to mourn. I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. Yeah, what? sure. <laughs> you can. Let's try. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. Point the wand towards the coffin. Snap the wand in two. Let's just... We can... Can we really just bring him back? Let's try it. What's the harm? What? What's oh. happening? Why is he still dead? She did say she'd bring him back. <laughs> there he is. Walking Ethel, man. You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. <laughs> what 
have you done to him? I haven't done anything. So the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? Hold on, maybe it's not permanent. Huh, the creature's bound to this one. How useful. <laughs> hey, Connor! So the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can oh, it? this isn't what she promised! I wanted Jeez. him back. Back the way he was. Not this. Don't worry, I have a wand. I'll make use of him. <laughs> this is your husband. Do you want him or not? <laughs> I don't, look at his arm. What's his arm doing? We can always bury him again. Kill the undead. Don't worry, I have the wand. Can we make use for him? <laughs> Are we just going to say this to this lady? We can't do anything. Do you want your husband or not? She's mortified. She's not going to... I have a wand. I can make use of him. You bastard! Give him back! I thought you were going to hell! I thought... I thought... <laughs> oh no, we fucking failed something probably. Connor, I just... I didn't know that would cut off the dialogue. I was just saying, I mean... In hell. <laughs> this is a type of choice that you sit back and think to yourself, well, shit, maybe I should have picked something else. Friends, I don't reload anything in games. Not even other choices. Save Marina. We decided to keep Marina's husband for ourselves. Distraught, Marina left. Oh, no. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> That wasn't what I wanted to do. I was just asking a question. I didn't know we were going to keep the gentleman. Hey, Connor, how are you? <laughs> so, like, what happens now? <laughs> Jesus. This is... This is crazy. Where's the wand? I think the wand's gone. Rotten carrot. Club. Well. Is Connor in our crew? Friends? Is he moving with us? I don't think he is. Let me dismiss shovel. I would dismiss shovel. Shovel's dismissed. Still alive. So that's progress. Can we talk to Connor now? <laughs> what the fuck? Just happened. The ever see an eye. Second marriage, ten turns. Cast spell. <laughs> I feel absolutely terrible right now. I feel a bit disgusting. I didn't mean like I wanted to ask the question. Maybe we okay, we have this wand, maybe we can use him. I should have seen the obvious. We should have asked her what she wanted to do with her husband, because that's her husband. She ran off. We pretty much failed the quest, I think. And now we got Connor. Old Connie! <laughs> we got old Connie with us! What do you even do, man? They can run real fast. He's got 28 fucking health! What happens, though, if we... Hell, what the through shit that he do in this game, huh? Second marriage. Can we put second marriage out here and use this like this? Out here. Probably. Fucking hell, my head's spinning. Wait. Undead fortitude. We can just use it whenever. It's just an action. 
We can use it whenever. But can we do shovel? Let's do... We can. We didn't even need to dismiss shovel. Now we're going to have old Connor. And we're going to have shovel eventually. I'm going to have to long rest after this. Fucking hell, man. That was crazy. What a crazy resolution to this quest. I really loved it. I won't lie. It was really, really good. But I feel like I made a wrong decision there at the end by not letting her just deal with her husband. But hey, look at the bright side. If you think about it, now we have a we have old Connor here. He's smelly. His conditions are smelly. <laughs> oh man, that's rough. She wanted that we could have buried him again, put him back in his grave. We woke him up. Man, Ethel is so crazy. She's such a crazy. Oh, he's only available for 10 turns. Okay, so we can use him in combat, and that's the best. Use him in combat just to summon his ass in the beginning, maybe. Clumps of hair and flesh stick out of the twisted roots and make up the shaft of this wand. Connor is scratched on his surface. Damn, friends. I definitely feel some type of way here. We're going to have the long rest, and we will after this. That was just... Can we talk to people? Yes. After all that ordeal. I just... Speak. I just don't know how I feel about that. Of course, next time I play, I guess we'll see the other Go ahead. way. I'm listening. This game's going to crush me. So many crazy things that are going to happen. I want to go back in that lair. I want to go look around again. I'll probably do it off camera. Just to make sure I got everything in the lair. And I want to check in on the people as well. And see if they... And the, the fucking people in the front. Maybe we'll just do it next episode. We'll be over there in the beginning and see if that broke the curse of all them people. And then we'll just take it from there. But anyways, my friends, I'm out here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.